So I would like to introduce the topic a little. <clears throat> now that we have a variety of DP4 inhibitors available, and we started with using uh, cetagliptin, we used uh, wildagliptin for a very long time, and now gradually we are having more and more. Of course, the data which is available with wildagliptin and cetagliptin is the best data which is available. We do have newer drugs. We do have sexagliptin, which had a little issues with heart failure. And the newer ones, which is cheaper, and therefore they are used more, but the data is not up to date. However, the cost of wildagliptin has significantly reduced, and many Indian companies are also making it, and that has made a prescription sim very simple. But then there has always been a question, <clears throat> which one to use? Right on the first day when cetagliptin was introduced, and there was, uh, so we have uh, Dr. Tui Dube with us. We, when when ibuprofen was introduced, the first question which was asked in our was which one to use, either Cita or Wilda, which is better. And therefore, it is important to discuss what are the considerations when we start using one medication. So we have with us a young endocrinologist, Dr. Tuhin Dubey. He's a consultant, Department of Endocrinology, Medipulse Hospital, Jodhpur. He has done his DNB endocrinology from Indraprest Apollo Hospital, New Delhi in 2016, and MBBS and MD from Dr. S. Mill College, Jodhpur itself. Had worked as associate consultant with Dr. S. K. Wangnu, the famous uh, endocrinologist at Delhi. And he has had a few laurels and awards which have been given to him. And he is a very active person and very active in our clinical meetings. So over to Dr. Tuhin for choosing a gliptin, the 10 considerations. Hello, am I audible? Ah. Tuhin, bola bhi. Hello. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Phone chalu rakhna toh. Phone pe bol kare. And the topic which is given to me is choosing a clip. So now we all are this class of oral antidiabetic for almost a decade now. And we have made uh, using these molecules. But still, because a wide variety of uh, molecules are available to us, a question comes mm -hmm. in our mind that which lifting to you, while to you, and what are the different pharmacokinetic and dynamic differences? What is their efficacy? To what is their half size? What is their uh, efficacy? These questions mm -hmm. come into our mind. So today's topic of discussion will be focusing mainly on this class of drugs. So the topic which we will cover is mainly distributed endocrine head, efficacy of lipton, selectivity as far as the DPP4 inhibition is concerned, any clinical effects on high or hypoglycemia, when is drug drug interaction a consideration, lipton in chronic kidney disease, Antipathic impairment. What is the cardiovascular disease risk and safety? Is pancreatitis, which is a concern, still a concern? The other geotropic effects of the system, that is, the effect on the blood pressure, weight, and what about in patient management and the emerging So, to begin with, efficacy wise, Higher glucose levels and higher BMI and high APP4 activity. This is beyond. I think 
So data collection has high selectivity as far as the GDP case, nine, and fiber transmission protein is concerned. What are the effects of these other enzymes which are being inhibited? Because GPP8 has a possible role in immunity, spermatogenesis, male fertility, cardiac demand, macrovasculature, daily immunity, can cause problems with this. GPP9 is involved in immunity, enzyme, and fibroblast activity protein is involved in wound healing, gut clotting, and malignant progress of tumor. So we don't want much. Uh, uh, inhibition of these uh, selectivity of a molecule is very important with the victim clear as well as far as both TPP8-9 and MPP inhibition selectivity is concerned. Clinical significance, as we have discussed, TPP8, the dose dependent reduction of the lymphocyte sound and skin antibiotic cardiac side effects like prolonged uses in the well and the well. Interstitial pneumonia, spectrum this is some study, as well as for marketing services. And TPP9 inhibition is starting by site. Induced calcium cardiomyocyte, induced cardiomyocyte construction, we can see. Apart from that, this can be a reason that increased incidences of heart hospitalized for heart failure was observed in sector in liver demand, trials, there is. LV and dactylic volume of the The glycine also reduced glucagon hypoglycemic and increased glucagon using hypoglycemia, which is a potential benefit of effect and was seen in a study with a particular level that is considered classic over the public research and subclinical and metabolic metabolism. So, this is the desirable effect. As an add on to insulin, there is a study which shows that better glycemic control is less psychoglycemic and then low can keep with uh, beta glycine. Coming on to the differences, because type 2 diabetes is a progressive disease and multiple comorbidities are associated, like hypertension, uh, maybe dyslipidemia, anemia, cholesterolic uh, CV disease. So, if you see the along with some drugs, we see that the common and beta glycine has evenly metabolized or excreted to the hepatic system. Glycine has a class, particularly in beta glycine, beta glycine, and functional in the department. The other two inhibitors have no clinical relevance for drug interaction. So, again, they are not the preferred drug as far as the drug interaction is concerned. Now, use in chronic kidney disease. CKD is one of the most important factors uh, for the CTFR, is one of the most important of the drug goals and safety. And one out of two diabetic patients in India also has CKD. And as the CTFR in time for 81.6 ml per minimum per minute per 1.5 mm per body at the daily and concern. So in CKD, what is the uh, role of oral antidiabetic? We all know that common we have to uh, contraindicate it at 30 and we have to be contraindicated. Sorry, 45 CFR and less than 60 can be used for this monitoring. Sulfonyl urea are difficult to titrate with for hypoglycemia. Glitazone, again, for detention, edema, and CHF can be a problem with these. SDH2 inhibitors can cause problems. CTFR less than 45 can't be used for detention, acute kidney, fluid talk, and uh, uh, dehydration, and electrolyte. Can, can be there, but in the long run, as they do in the clinical trials, we have shown to decrease the progress of anemia. But as far as the clinical are concerned, they can be safely used across all stages of CKD, particularly for the dose modification. So, CKD clinical can be used as a lower dose in ETFR around uh, 45 or more. Can be used with the same dose somewhere around 30 to 45. We can use the dose to 50 milligram once in a day. And in the same unit disease, we have got less than 30 or less than 15. Or on the patient who are on hemodialysis, the dose can be as well as 25 milligrams. The reason being the quality of the part is the CR5 circulation time. The same effect we can achieve with lower doses at a lower cost. So it is safe across all the of the CR5. 
So there is a long term problem even after so four years and no upgrade in the case back and not further that security in the past. Even a diabetes patient has been already mentioned, lower dose 25 milligrams per day we can use. And they have a few topic back in the form of greater reduction as we have compared to other species of that is sulfonyl. This has been proven in a study by both in and all published in journal of vaccine complicated. Beta-lipid was associated with the 20% larger urinary acid ratio reduction and other substances. Now, coming on to the CV outcome trials, which was ended to me after 2008. So, all the students have now their CV outcome trials, uh, basically the approved ones. They were CV with Mexican Lipton, Nico, Mexican Lipton, Tamsina, Mexican Lipton, Carolina, Mexican Lipton, compared to the bank. Majority of the treatments are found to be cardiovascular safe or as well as the cardiovascular in a state. Side effects of this are found to be neutral, apart from sexual experience, is the sense of hospitalization for heart failure. Apart from kidney, the other organ important is the liver. Effective intuition is variable as far as all the treatments are concerned and NFLD or and what we say, non alcoholic hepatitis, the treatment complication of hepatitis, and because one of the most common cause of uh, cardiac uh, liver cirrhosis. Up to 60% of the time to that patient also has an effect. What is the effect of the on the liver? So, if we can go other drugs, uh, better lipid, not be used in static experiments. Static dysfunction can cause significant adverse reaction as far as the lipid is concerned. But theta lipid, dina lipid, and hexa lipid can be used as far as uh, the hepatic impairment is concerned. But in severe hepatic impairment or severe type of advanced disease, they have to be avoided. So in NFLD, it was found that these lipids can be. To some extent, beneficial, and there is a study where citalipin use was associated with non alcoholic cytohepatitis increases and significant decrease in ballooning and net growth was observed with this view, as we can see in the residential on this slide. Now, CV alarms we have already discussed, they are reasonably safe and they have some benefits. So, coming on to this. All the CV outcome trials found reasonable safety as far as all the adverse parameters are concerned about devotee with the application was treated with increased hospitalization for heart failure and the other symptoms proved to be safe, including the symptoms which has the largest equal trial as far as CV safety is concerned. And the real bird evidence also is even uh, they have uh, accepted their safety. Now, coming on to pancreatitis, this is again a problem to critical this because of DP4 and DP6. And uh, this was a problem more noticed with the DSP1 analog because the DP4 inhibitors also address this intrinsic nexus. Theoretical concern is there. But in large trials, outcome trials, and then this is significant uh, as far as the pancreatitis is concerned, or pancreatic cancer was not observed. But still better, it is the usual instead in the clinical practice that patients who have a history of pancreatitis or if they are at high risk of pancreatitis, particularly if they are causing or better stone, particularly when they are stone, severe hypertrophic leukemia, to avoid these drugs or use this problem. So, clinicians are robust critical. Uh, immediate insulin is so indirect to the insulin excess, but they have weight neutral. As compared to sulfonylurea, tend to increase weight and be an undesirable effect of diabetes. And when they don't do that content, can cause weight loss as well. And they have some other future effects like blood pressure reduction. And uh, we can see reduction of BMI and 
influence the pipeline to get for them to exist and insulin resistant markers like OAM, OMA IR, uh, with uh, decrease in IR, with lipid, and increased adequate levels with lipid. Then we said, appetite stimulant effect, weight gain effect, there was a significant increase in total granules. Very useful across all the subsets from the newly onset to the 
commerce that we created. And even in cutting uh, during time, some exams, the leader is inventing and the appropriate modification. And uh, so, keeping in mind the pharmacokinetics and that influences the evidence, the trials available with all the questions, we can use them very well in our clinical practice in the exacting. Thank you very much for your video. And uh, uh, over to the panelists for any comments or suggestions or query. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tohin. Uh, certain new data you have showed today. We have been seeing this comparison for quite some time, but new things which have been pointed out may be quite important in our clinical practice. And uh, thank you very much for this lucid presentation. If there are any questions, Dr. Skimsara, Dr. Deoda, if you have any questions, Tuvin is available to answer. Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, Tuvin. But I, but I can hear you. Yeah, please tell. Can you repeat the question, Tuvin? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, please go ahead. Yes. Uh, Twin, uh, you have given 10 out of 10 to citagliptin. So, citagliptin remains number one as the number one molecule discovered, and it still remains nobody's in race. <laughs> so, it's a, uh, some problem with the audio. Can you please repeat the question? I said the citagliptin is the first molecule to be discovered among the three four inhibitors, and you have given 10 out of 10 to citagliptin, so nobody is in race. No, uh, sir, this is not the scene. Everybody is in race. Uh, the thing is that uh, uh, all molecules we have to keep in mind, they are all efficacious, all the available gliptins. The thing is that we have to keep in mind the efficacy, the DPP4 inhibition, the difference in the pharmacokinetics, and the CV outcome trials and the other uh, geotropic effects. I think this is somewhere right that we have multiple actors in our film industry. All do their play. Some can be uh, good, some can be better in some way, but still all find their place in the current scenario. So you have to choose appropriately depending on your patient profile, your clinical experience, the cause and multiple factors, and still uh, all have their place in the clinic. Yes. But because as in today, the 90% of the prescription we hear are of teneliclipin only. This teneliclipin was a good molecule because of the cost effectiveness, it find its role. But still, it was not being approved with standard authorities like uh, the US FDA or ESD. But in the in our part of the world where cost is a major issue, this use uh, uh, was increased and uh, majority of the patients tolerated well. The clinical experience of the doctors improved, so they developed more confidence in use. Now, as the time passes and other patients, they are cutting on to their cost their use is also increasing. And so because if the cost is no uh, uh, inhibition, the doctor also tends to use approved drugs which are being approved by the guidelines. So they have large CV outcome trials or large evidence. But in some cases, we have to use molecules depending on the patient's pocket. So in that way, that also molecule uh, was found to be effective. And there are Indian studies, other studies being published in uh, various forums and uh, still finding its place. Uh, so uh, I will say that each have its own benefits and uh, pros and cons. You have to choose the drug according to your clinical acumen. Actually, you are very right. Cost is the biggest factor in India and DPP-4 inhibitor have become popular only after the introduction of tenelic lifting. That is what we have been observing. Cost oh, is the biggest the, factor. You are right. The question is that Thank suppose... You. No, supposing okay. tenelgliptin, supposing tenelgliptin and cetagliptin were of the same cost, what would you choose? That is the question. 
yeah if, if they the want cough is no issue i will uh, i usually prefer the drug to have the largest uh, TV, uh i mean largest safety uh, uh data available uh, profile and who has the largest clinical uh, safety background so i will prefer cetagliptin if the cost is no issue definitely that is the answer in fact it is if you don't consider if both the costs are equal then we would like to choose a modest backup with wonderful data on cv safety data also so but in india scenario is safety might not be concerned everyday safety of the pocket is more a concern and that's why tenagliptin is more popular what the adivino so i think this answers the question dr akhimsara do you have any you know question what? विनोद सब की आवाज तो नहीं आ रही है नहीं आ रही मेरे को नहीं अभी अपन ने कर लिया बस एक हां डॉक्टर खीम सर अभी कैन नॉट हियर यू अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ प्लीज no we audible? cannot hear you audible now yes yes it's yes, now audible okay i want to ask one question in patient of ckd who is in the stage 4 or 5 how often do you use uh, do, do you use these drugs in patient with ckd of grade 4 or 5 how often do you use these drugs in patient with ckd of grade 4 or 5 and stage renal disease how often do you use these drugs yes sir i think uh, patient with ckd of grade 4 or 5 and stage lipins can be safely used even up to end stage renal disease only the dose modification has to be done correct drugs like uh, lenalidin who are not excreted through kidney and they are almost exclusively biliary route of excretion there is no dose, uh, need of dose modification but drugs like cetagliptin who are partially excreted from renal after hepatic metabolism we have to decrease the dose between 30 to 45 we have to make the dose 50 And less than 30 uh, EGFR, we have to use uh, 25 milligram once a day dose. But what I think now, in patient of CKD who is having end-stage renal disease, we usually use insulin. We don't use these glycans at all because of the nausea, vomiting, and uncontrolled diabetes. We better use to use insulin with uh, three. Yes, sir. I believe that the insulin is the drug of choice. But sometimes, if an elderly patient is residing alone. they are insulin administration problem is he or she is not able to administer there is no better care giver then we can use uh, this drug because it is virtually free from hypoglycemia risk and uh, in a few subset of patients depending on the patient's condition uh, we can use and i have used with experience so i will say you have to individualize your treatment and choose your patient appropriately Dr. Kimsra, even I have a group of patients who are stage four CKD, and they are on 25 milligram cetagliptin, and they are doing very well. They are doing wonderful. They don't require insulin at all. So you can also try. There's no harm. Pardon, sir. Even in post transplant patient, you can use lipid. Yes, yes, it can be. So thank you very much, Sufim. it was a, a wonderful presentation something new has come up so nice of you to have joined so this ends today's sessions and tomorrow morning i wish all of you would log in at quarter to 2 and there's one more day of marathon topics and very wonderful topics tomorrow also the issues which have been there today will be sorted out tomorrow i think this is a new experience and i think the organizers will take care of uh, running tomorrow so see you tomorrow morning and good night thank you